Hello everybody, what's going down? I'm Rob, we're playing Mass Effect. I'm probably popping off like crazy in this microphone. Playing Mass Effect, this is episode 3. Wait, 3. There we go. Yeah, it's exciting, right? Um, so I was like, you know, I need to be playing something else. Um, not just Bioshock, because it's driving me crazy, so... I decided to switch it up a little bit, so I'm going to be <clears throat> posting at least one Bioshock and at least one Mass Effect a week. Hopefully, I've been living up to that promise, but I'm promising you it now, so if I haven't been, oh well. Now, uh, last we played, we started the game, we made our Shepard, um, uh, Alec Shepard, also known as Alec Wolf, in my original, uh, in the uh, fan fiction of my mind. Um, my original, um, Shepard is my main Shepard, and this guy is sort of his renegade counterpart that they meet every once in a while. I, I have a lot of time to think about things, so I come up with these stories in my head. Anyway, I thought it was hilarious that Alex's last name is Wolf, because then there's Wolf and Shepard, and I thought that was fun, and it's mostly just for me. He's, he's just Shepard in this. Anyway, point is... Made him, um, he little Asian-y up in there, because I realized before I made two white guys, or I made a white guy and a white girl, whatever, the point is, made him, went to Eden Prime, witnessed the attack on Eden Prime, and subsequently fought a bunch of Geth who haven't been seen in, like, 500 years or 5,000 years or something like that. Some crazy long number. Um, and now we are headed to the Citadel after encountering the beacon that was dug up and having a vision of terror burned into my brain. So let's talk to Joker and get that going. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Sweet. Realize now I should have talked to Joker before. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. To the Citadel. Look at the size of that ship. The essential flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying, you need firepower too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side. Citadel Control, this is SS Normandy. Request for personal command. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Forewarning to all of you out there, um, Mass Effect is like half action, half um, drama. This is going to be more of a drama explore. Actually, yeah, it's half drama, half action, half exploring. So this is a drama exploring episode. There is going to be little to no um, action going on this time. So what's the word I'm looking for? Disclaimer. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! Yep. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? Oh, they're accurate. They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. They're blind. I'm not going to sit on my ass just because the council doesn't want to do anything. 
If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I guess that'll be the day. Things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. Ooh. Make sure you have clearance to get in. Thanks, buddy. And that's why I hate politicians. Accurate. Important locations are narked are <laughs> Important locations are narked on your map. For active missions, key locations may be marked as a destination. Your radar will indicate a direction of the destination in exploration mode. So, let's go exploring! Follow the pulsing arrow on your radar to the Citadel Tower. What up, Caden? Hey, what? Way to be observant there, buddy. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Way to be racist there, Ashley. So this is the Citadel. It's, like, really pretty and shiny. And that's not real sky, by the way. I didn't realize that. Like, okay. No, I mean, I know it's not real sky. I mean, like... I didn't realize it wasn't, like, artificial atmosphere. That's, like, a legit ceiling, so... I'm blowing really hard into this thing. Can you hear me better? Can you hear me without me, you know, yelling? Okay. Easy description. Decryption. Override succeeded! Alliance Patrol report. Captain Hendrickson reported to some... Unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Rio cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send a recon team? Yeah, we do. I'm gonna recon the shit out of that place. Mm. Oh, yeah. What's all this? Sorry, my foot's really itchy. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. What's up, buddy? You look down. Hello there, human. Sincere apology. I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. What's up? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? That's the only sucky thing. I have to be nice to people to get missions, because I need the experience points. Well, unless I can be a bitch about it. What happened? What did this Asari do to get you so upset? Seriously, like the underside of my foot's itchy as balls. This problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where is this bitch? Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Phil means. Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Kornak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Uh, why so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. 
we still have no real say in the decisions that affect mm. Citadel space. I should go. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Ha! Ah, found one of you bastards. Alright. Now to the important stuff. Um, that way? Yeah, this way is never open. Whee! Open! Damn it! I'm not going to talk to Avina. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Yep. By accessing Citadel transit, ter transit terminals like this one, you can travel directly to specific locations throughout the Citadel. As you discover areas of interest, more destinations will become available. Alright, so I'm thinking this one's going to be a little longer just because there's particular things that I'd like to accomplish while i am got sort of free range of the Citadel here. So let's just talk to the Asari. Let's see if she is a sorry sorry. I've had my office rearranged five times Thank you, Cree Summer. Five times? Why? What do they want? How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. Yes, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces them. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. Hmm. Nile. Welcome. I am Elena. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? I need an appointment. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. I hate her. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll She's take every so with you. polite. The consort. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Is she mystical? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Give me an appointment then. Go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make All every right. effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. Are you serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, Malia? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. How? What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Sounds interesting. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. Goodbye. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Do you? Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Damn, dead ass. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. 
She'd like to meet with you now. Why all of a sudden? What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. Ignoring all these other lame people. Ignoring you. I just don't have the patience. I'm running out of time. If this is going to be a half hour. Which it won't be. So, Shaira, what up, girl? That is close enough, Commander. Whoa. I heard a great many things about you since your arrival here an hour citadel. You checking up on me? I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Well, hurry up. Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Chorus Den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I'll see. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Did she just hug me? Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Okay. Let's go, people. Oh, are you kidding me with this? Glitchiest game ever. Speaking of glitches... Let's save. We do not want to do all that again, let me tell you. Hmm. Save often. Because this game will screw you over. Let's go. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. No one cares how nervous you are. What's over here? What is over here? There's nothing over... Oh. Oh. This is just... This is, yeah, it's just upstairs. Is there anything that I missed while I was up there? Yep. Mm. Talk about time wasting. I'm not buying anything. Um, I have no need to talk to Barlavon just yet. And we're walking, walking really far. Yeah, we're walking, going to over there. To the wards, to the walls. Just swept trip down my balls. To all oh, skeet, 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 skeet. Yep. Is this where I want to go? I do. To Citadel Tower and away! <sighs> so these are like my favorite loading screens in the whole game because if I bought like an elevator, this might happen. <laughs> K 
Caden's having a migraine. Yeah, either they will have a conversation or somebody will tell me something over the intercom of interest. Let's go. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who was that? Who were you just talking to? That was Executive Panlin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Yeah, by the way, you blew it. Sounds like you came up empty. Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Hmm. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Thank you, Garrus. a lot of walking in this game. Running. Jogging, really. Either way. Don't be ridiculous. The bowlers won't be joining the council for years. Oh my god, it's Anderson! Hi! What's going on? The hearing's already started. Come on! The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Theron was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. And I, I hate the Council so much! Blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. That was you, not me. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect? From a human. You'll pay. You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You arrogant bastard! You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgments must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Clearly he's evil. I mean... Bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason: to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. 
Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you even know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this either. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Well, the council won't help us. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. I suspect her. He's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSAC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. It could be useful. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with this. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'm on it. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Ooh. How can probably get getting drunk at Cora's Den? It's a digital little club in the lower section of the woods. Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Bond over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The huh. Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Bond's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. What about you and Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. That's I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So would I. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. Seriously? And he knows how to cover his tracks. Calm down, Luna. What can you tell me about Harkin? You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, <sighs> alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. They abandoned him. I thought this embassy was supposed to help you. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right. Well, what do you two have to say? This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Kind of makes your head spin if you think about it too much. So, this is where the Council passes judgment on all little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling ran over our heads, Commander? Never. And now for a Mass Effect side story. Wait. This, this isn't it. I was going to do some else. Sketch. Following the Keepers. Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. Oh, yeah. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. I see. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Let me help. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. 
I don't even know who you are. I'm with the Alliance. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Got it. I should get going, then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Scan. All right, while we're here, so I don't forget for next time, let's go find the other keepers. I think that I got all the keepers. Knowing there's one more. Now we got the last one. Not in the whole citadel, but in the. What's this place called? We got all the keepers in here. Let's go. I have balls tired, aren't I? Oh, I have your balls a lot too. <laughs> balls. <laughs> I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren is one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. Yeah. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Here we're gonna go talk to Barlavan. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. No. Hmm. It's like a mini mass relay. Excuse me, that was a burp. Slash hiccup. So this? One of the Death Clan. Ah, very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. Are you spying on me? I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barnabon. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I need information. I've heard you work for the Shadow Do you have any information about Sarah? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Sarah. Start talking. I need, I need that, that information, information. now. Threats, Threats don't, don't work, work on me, Commander. This, this information is worth a small fortune. fortune. But this, this is an unusual situation, so I'm going, going to let you have it for free. What's, What's the catch? I'm going to let you have There is no catch. The Shadow, Shadow Broker is quite upset with Sarah right now. They used, used to do a lot of business, business until Sarah <gasps> turned on him. Shock. Shocker. Sarah, Sarah betrayed. betrayed. Imagine, Imagine that. that. No, no matter what you think of Sarah, Sarah he's not, not stupid. stupid. He knows no, the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. sense. Not, not unless something, something huge was at stake. I, I don't know, know the details, details, but the, the Shadow, Shadow Broker hired, hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Where is he? How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the C-Sec Academy. Why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with C-Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Let's go. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. 
Mm, I bet. Alright, so I think with that, I'm going to... Oh, kind of loud there. End the video here, because to do everything, um, all the little mini side quests we picked up, and the, um... Oop, there's a... <laughs> there's a keeper! Um, to do all of that, including the keepers, we have to go to uh, the wards, so... Um... As soon as I... Um navigate through here we can do that bam all right uh, Ashley uh, this is taking forever it's so long and forever taking. Alright, let's go to C-Tech Academy. Since all of the ward locations are connected to one another, that shouldn't be a problem. We just have to actually take the elevator. I can't save when I'm in here, can I? Nope, okay. Yeah, whatever. Um, DC Tech Academy. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here for now, you guys. And let me turn it around, actually. Um, when next we play, we should be meeting so the rest of our oh, you have to sign on with Commander the rest of our party That's members. Uh, Every time I think actually, having them join our party, uh, Tali. Uh, wow, Garrus and now. Rex, the, uh, Krogan and another character that there. we're going to meet. Um, yeah, so I will see you all in whatever video you watch next, or I will see you in Mass Effect Episode 4 while we meet everyone else. So, um, and here we are at CSEC. See you all later. Get excited. <laughs>